Okay, real quick review, you guys. The last step, once you have your, you know, in a day or two, whatever, once you guys have your, your uh, entry stuff all good to go, and you want to paste it into our website, the very last step, this only has to be done by one person, right? Not everybody, just, just whoever's, whoever you guys elect to be the master queen or king of the, of the pasting in. So here I am. I'm, I've logged in, right? I've gone, gone to our coastal wiki. Uh, dot piratelab.org slash WP admin. I've logged in with my with my with my login. And then I come up here, I'm gonna go to pages. Okay, because I've created these things as a page, not as a blog post. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna find whatever my page is. What's one nobody's doing? Uh, uh, let's do this one. So, I, so here it is. Let's say this is my page, environmental justice. I'm gonna push the edit button. And here's what it looks like, right? So this, this is how it should look. So most of the stuff you guys want to do, you want to be on the visual tab uh, option. So I can just, you know, open my other document, select that uh, group of text or those paragraphs or whatever it is, and then just come right here and hit paste. When you're done, because there might be some formatting stuff between Google Sites and this, just come back here and let's check. My introduction, if I highlight that text, Check it out, right here, it's heading one. That's what we want. We want it to be the, you know, the, <coughs> the top thing. Uh, and then here's my text, and that just reads as a paragraph, right? Again, I can just uh, select and, and, and make that get called up. Again, there are other options. Some of you guys are using more bulleted type formats or numbered type bullets. Do it, that's great. If it doesn't look super perfect, come in and just use these, these tools to adjust it. Also, when you're embedding some of your hyperlinks, if they don't come in automatically, because we haven't done this before with the copy and paste, that's fine. Just go over to wherever the text would be. Let's say this is where I wanted my link to be embedded. I just hit the link and I would paste my link into there and we're good to go. I suggest you guys the best practice, click that thing and just say open in a new tab. That way your website will stay open if they click a hyperlink. It won't, it won't take them out of your website, but that's not required. And there we go, good to go. Here's the, here's the last tricky part that Joanne and a few folks were asking about. What about my embedded, and so you guys remember, you guys remember how to do the multimedia? You just say add media, upload the file. So here's that, the last one that might cause you some questions is how do I embed my Plotly graph? How do I embed my interactive uh, bar graph or whatever it is? Let's say this is where I wanna put it. So this is the one that takes a little bit of paying attention. So everybody eyes up here. So I just made a couple extra spaces to make sure I won't accidentally mess up. I wanna put it right after I say four of our questions, blah, blah, blah. Here's the only time I need to not be in the visual tab, okay? I wanna be in the text tab, okay? So now it looks like this and it looks confusing. Oh my God, I don't know, just go back to, okay, there we go. You can breathe easy, you're fine, all right, it's all good. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna go over here to, let's say where my graph is, let's say I like, this is just a draft graph, but let's say this is it. I'm gonna go up to the share button within Plotly. I'm going to click the embed tab and then check it out. Here's that iframe text. Remember it has a bracket that it says iframe. I'm gonna select, boom, 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 copy this text, jump back over uh, where I wanna put it. I don't know, right there. I hit paste, say update. It's gonna think for a second and now what, this is gonna give me a stagnant, this is, this is not, this right here is just a, a, a real quick a JPEG or PNG or whatever it does to image it. But now when I go to look at the full, if I've updated it, which I think I just did, if I've updated it, if I wanna double check, I can just come to view page. Here's our cool web page, and there's our, our Plotly graph. And again, as we resize it on our mobile phone or whatever, it's automatically gonna gonna tweak and adjust and, and do what it's, it's gonna do. Does that make sense?